We've come. We've come to give God the glory. To give God the glory. Oh yes, we've come. Oh, yes, we've come to give Him praise. To give Him praise. We've come. We've come to give Him the honor. To give Him the honor. Let's magnify Him. Let's magnify Him. All of our ways. In all of our ways. Who are we? We're interceding, Christian Center. We hope that you felt welcome. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Once again, Apostle Dr. Schaefer, the Pastor of Interceding Christian Center, located at 414 Thompson Avenue in the city of West Memphis, Arkansas. God bless you, beloved. I'm sitting here with my very lovely wife. Yourself, I'm Tina Schaefer, first Amen. lady at the Interceding Christian Center. Amen. Only lady. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> Amen. To God Almighty be the glory. We're going to continue on our Bible study series about the book, the the book of Peter, the yes. book of Peter. Amen. Yes, Are we talking about Second Peter now? Second Peter. Yes. Amen. We, we just finished up First Peter, and it was wonderful. Oh my God. Um, very insightful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you can find it on our YouTube channel. Interceding CC is our YouTube channel. Yes, Go Lord. check it out. Um, there's some wonderful information. We went scripture by scripture. Yes, we did. Explaining, you know. Yes, we did. Um, what thus said the Lord to us, to you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thanking God for his mercy and his grace even on. And I mean, I, I have to admit with you, First Lady, uh, Pastor Tina, that it was just phenomenal. My God. Yes, it was. Just, just pure holy living. Yes. Holy yes. living. We're talking about Peter, who's the angry one. <laughs> you know, Peter who would chop off your ear if you make him mad, right? Mm -hmm. That but same Peter. That same Peter. But he had become seasoned. Yes. He had become seasoned over the years and yes. he knew about living holy. But exactly. I don't want to rehash but we, that. But, but we don't stay babes. Amen. We don't stay babes. We even, don't. Even Peter was a babe at, at one time. Exactly, exactly. And I don't want to rehash that first lady, but uh amen. That was amen. a powerful <laughs> series. It's nine parts. Mm -hmm. Go and see it. Go it will bless it. you. It will bless you. It will bless you. Amen. Yes. On this evening, we're gonna have uh continue on in this series. We're calling this one Faith Under Fire. And I'm adding a subtitle here. I'm adding a subtitle here. What is the subtitle? Amen. Oh, that's what I wanted to hear. It's almost <laughs> like a knock knock. <laughs> I want to hear. The subtitle is. I'm waiting. I'm waiting too. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. The subtitle is Peter's Final Exhortation. Part one. Peter's Final Exhortation. Part one. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let me so, go in. Apostle, why did you name it that? Well, the reason I named it is, is probably within the study, but I'll talk about it. The reason I named it Peter's final exhortation is that the apostle Peter begins to begins to close out. You know, he started closing out in the last part of mm -hmm. uh, uh, First Peter <laughs> chapter five, excuse mm -hmm. me. But he continued with his exhortation. Mm -hmm. He's pulling on us as mm -hmm. saints of the Most High mm -hmm. to live. Holy, yes, he's exhorting yes. us to live holy, amen. Let's yes. get into it. Oh, well, my goodness, that's the word of prayer. And then we're gonna get into the scriptures, amen. amen, amen, hallelujah, amen. You want to pray for us, sure, sure, sure. Okay, Father, we we thank you, Lord, hallelujah, for this day and for this time, Lord God, for sharing. Father, we ask that every eye is open, Lord God, and, and every ear is open, Lord God, to your word, Father God. Father, we pray for revelation and insight. Father, that your will will go forth, Lord God, in our lives and in those that are around us, Father God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Let's continue forth with our study. Second Peter chapter 2, right? Yes. Second no, Peter chapter Peter one. Chapter one. We're Second Peter chapter one. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. I'm trying to run through I know that it's thing. the first Peter, the second Peter, yeah. the chapters, you know, exactly. they kind of all run together. Exactly. Yes. But in a good way. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's move on here. Just staying here. It's still on First Peter from yesterday. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Second Peter, Second for Peter showing one. up. Amen. Okay. Second Peter chapter one, verses one and two. Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith 
with us through the righteousness of our God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Verse 2, grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory unto God. Amen. That is wonderful. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yes. Now, let's look at this thing here. As I said before, Peter is closing out his book. He's closing out his book. But he just felt compelled by God to continue to encourage us yes. to live holy. Mm -hmm. Now, he went and he identified himself again, mm -hmm. Simon Peter. That's right. Amen. He did. He Amen. Did. And, and he doing that, I mean, it's something that, you know, <clears throat> when you find people on their, their deathbed and, yeah. um, you know, are they, they feel like they're getting ready to transition or go on to glory. Mm -hmm. um, the things that come out of their mouth are My most God. precious My to their God. hearts. Yes. And I really feel yes. like this is where Peter Peter was, you mm -hmm. know, in his ministry. Amen. And we I'm sure in chapter 1 we're going to talk about, you know, um Peter explaining this, My you know, God. explaining mm. this to us. Mm -hmm. You know, so um it's just one of those experiences. Yes. And throughout the Bible, you know, we find that you know, some of the leaders in the Old Testament, you know, like, for example, Jacob, yes. Jacob called his, his called them together mm -hmm. and he gave them, you know, final words. And, you know, even Moses called the 12 tribes together Amen. and gave them final words. Yes, yes. You know, so I believe that. And Joshua too. Joshua did mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. even, even Jesus. My God. Think about Baba. it. Baba. The yeah. Last Supper. Yes, Lord. You know. Um, Amen. Before he ascended on high. Yeah, before he ascended yes, on high. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. So I believe that Peter was it, in this, this particular state of mind. I really think that's where his mind was. But he does introduce his book, you know, um, introducing his himself yes yes he yeah. does he does amen Simon amen. Peter. amen i'm simon peter i'm the one that jesus called petrus i'm yes. i'm him i'm that guy there amen mm -hmm. amen <laughs> and he was talking about the faith that he had obtained mm -hmm. through being close to christ mm -hmm. amen and how the righteousness he had obtained by being close to christ amen right. amen but i see also you know he said he's a servant and we talked about that in the last um um book yeah, we did. You know, so we won't go into that. And he said he's an apostle of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But the the message that he's writing is it says to them. To them. Okay, it says <laughs> to them. He said, I'm Simon Peter. And then he says to them that have obtained light, oh, my precious goodness, that's faith. Powerful. Okay, yes, so Peter yes. Peter is talking to, you know, converts. The, the converts. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. the, the people that were um you know in different places throughout you exactly. know that, that exactly. area exactly that's kind of how first peter one started exactly. he's talking about too he's talking to the converts he said those who obtain like precious faith, faith with us through the righteousness of our lord and savior jesus christ amen. amen in verse two grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of god and of our lord of yes. Jesus, our Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. My God. That's powerful. Uh -huh. grace, grace and peace. And peace. I mean, if you talk about the grace, mm -hmm. you know, God's grace. God's grace. Towards us. Yes, Lord. You know, and then because of his grace, we can have peace. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, but he's saying these things that God has given to us, grace and peace, be multiplied, multiplied. unto you. We, we're talking about the peace that surpasses All understanding, understanding, right? right. There, there's an old song that says, because he lived, mm -hmm. I can face tomorrow. Mm -hmm. When you are basking in the knowledge that Jesus is your Lord, amen, mm -hmm. and the things that he has done to ensure that you have been reconciled to God mm -hmm. and have a right to the mercy seat, amen, right. then, then, then you just live a life that's different from other folks yes you don't live just this day-to-day the -day drudgery life no, you know you no. live a life where she's like my god look what he's done for me right. look where he brought me from mm -hmm. amen but the first thing he says is grace and peace oh, be geez. multiplied to you yes yes and then it says look through the, through knowledge, the knowledge because you know 
Yes. Because through the knowledge, so pop, so Peter is pushing uh, knowledge. Uh, yes, he yes, wants yes. us to know and to understand. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Hallelujah. No. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Which is the reason why we study the scriptures. Hallelujah. That's right. So through the knowledge of God, hallelujah, mm -hmm. the Father and of Jesus our Lord. Of Jesus our Lord. Oh, Amen. shit. Oh, God. Now, you Thank know what just Lord. jumped out at me, First Lady, Hallelujah. what jumped out at me, it says grace and peace mm -hmm. be multiplied. Mm -hmm. It didn't say add it. Add it. Mm -mm. You know, addition is one, one. plus one mm -hmm. plus two. But multiplication, you know, oh, I mean, my God. God, you can say one time one plus one mm -hmm. equals two, or one plus two equals three. But then you start doing multiplication. Mm -hmm. It starts expanding exponentially, exactly. my God. My God. So, so grace and peace be multiplied, not mm -hmm. subtracted from right. you, not, subtracted, not just not added, added, added to you, not divided from you, but multiplied unto you, Jesus. On to you through, <laughs> through the knowledge. knowledge because you through know the knowledge <laughs> hallelujah you have to know what you know hallelujah. because you know what you know oh my god amen my god. Amen. amen amen you know there's, there's another song that says he knows my name mm -hmm. and when he knows well, your name, name uh, one of your favorite, favorite songs, songs right yeah. and he knows your name and you know his name and uh -huh. you know him Yes. Oh, we better move on. We better move on. We, 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 just we have quite a bit to cover. <laughs> Hallelujah. So let's move on. Hallelujah. Glory unto God. Hallelujah. Amen. So. Verse 3 and 4. Verse 3 and 4. Mm -hmm. Glory unto God. Verse 3 and 4. Hallelujah. Verse 3 and 4. Let's get into our share screen mode again. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Verses 3 and 4. 2 Peter 1, verse 3 and 4. According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Amen. My God. Yes. Hallelujah. According as his divine power, the divine power of Christ. Yes. The things that Christ did that gave him a name above each and every name. Right. Amen. Has given unto us all things that pertain to life. There's no death in Christ. Exactly. There's no death in Christ. Mm -hmm. These things pertain to life mm -hmm. and godliness. Right. Holiness. Right. You know, because after the sin in the garden, you know, we were exposed to <clears throat> all of the other things yes. of the world. Yes. But according to the divine power of Christ, mm -hmm. he, hallelujah, gave us all things that <laughs> pertain to life eternal. Yes, Lord. And Amen. godliness, hallelujah, because worldly, worldliness cannot give us godliness. No, it can't. Mm -mm -mm. So when Jesus did his, his ministry, when he, when he carried out his ministry, he gave us all Hallelujah. things not just Jesus. a little bit bless your name but all things all pertaining things. to life all things. and godliness Hallelujah. and godliness what does godliness mean to be like god right yes, yes, to look yes. like god to mirror god mm -hmm. you know so everything that jesus did was to restore us but look what peter says through the knowledge of him mm. Through the knowledge of him. Mm. When we first become babes, we only have a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we don't have full knowledge. So Peter is telling us to grow. To grow. Mm. He said, through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue. And virtue. Yes, yes. Glory. And, <laughs> and to walk in virtue and, and, mm. and righteousness and cleanliness. Oh Verse 4 says, Whereby given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, right. that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. Right. Right. Partakers of the divine nature, mm -hmm. having escaped the corruption that is in the world, world through lust. lust. Right. So what I'm seeing here mm -hmm. is that corruption mm -hmm. entered the world, sin entered the world That's right. through lust. That's right. 
So mm -hmm. the lie began with a lust. Exactly. Okay, and we know that the Bible tells us that Satan desires the things of the flesh. That's right. So, and it also says that, you know, Satan uh, tried to tempt Jesus with the things of the flesh. flesh. Lustly things, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So the great lie that was perpetrated or the withholding of truth that was perpetrated mm -hmm. in the garden started because the enemy lusted after what we had. Exactly. My God, uh -huh. my God. But Hallelujah. now we are partakers of the, the divine nature, mm. meaning our nature is is divine, it, that we're like minded, we're like Christ, mm -hmm, we're like mm -hmm. like Father, like the Father. Yes, you Lord. know, and no longer, you know, we've we've escaped the Jesus. corruption of the world. My God, we don't we don't have to do the things that we used to do because of Jesus. My God. Amen. 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 Corruption of the world through, my God. My through God. lust. Through lust. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, Second Peter chapter 1, verses 5 and 6 and 7. I Amen. put an extra N. You put an N in there. Hallelujah. Okay. <laughs> it said, and besides this, given all diligence, add to your faith, add to your faith virtue. Mm -hmm. And to virtue, knowledge. My God. And to knowledge, temperance. Mm. And to temperance, patience. Mm. And to patience, godliness. Mm. And to godliness, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, charity. My God. My let's, God. let's talk about these things. Oh, hallelujah. And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue. Okay. Now, I got to go back and think about what it says about multiply grace unto okay. you, mm -hmm. because this ties back into this. That's right. So grace that's multiplied to you adds to your faith. That's right. And it adds to your virtue, amen, mm -hmm. and to virtue knowledge, amen. Mm -hmm. And while that adds to your faith, mm -hmm. guess what it subtracts from? What does it? The worldly things. It That's subtracts right. that sin nature from us. It uh -huh. removes, you know, gives the, because grace covers even that. Right. Oh, my God, my yeah, God. Yeah. And to knowledge temperance. Uh -huh. Just because you know something mm -hmm. don't mean that you have to act on it. Mm -hmm. It allows you to hold back from doing certain things. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And then, and that keeps your temper in check. Mm -hmm. And to temperance, patience. Mm -hmm. Patience. My God, we need patience yeah. to maintain our temperance. Yes, we do. Amen. We do. And and to patience, godliness. Uh -huh. God is patient. Amen. All these things are virtues. These are fruit. Yes. Amen. That a Christian should have. And to mm -hmm. godliness, brotherly kindness. Mm -hmm. And to brotherly kindness, charity. Wow. Why God? My but you God. know, I, I see this as um as as growing. Mm -hmm. You know, just like a child grows from a newborn to um a toddler to a child, you know, mm. or a preschooler, um, you know, to a teenager. Right. To, right. You know, I, I see I see it that way. I, I wanna see the scripture if you don't mind. Um, but it says, and besides this, given all diligence. Yes. What is diligence? Talk to me. <laughs> Dil diligence is putting forth your effort. The effort. Right. Yes. yes. Putting putting in a fight. You uh -huh. know, um, <laughs> having a plan. You know, being diligent. You know, knowing the direction that you're going Jesus. in. So you have to give diligence to what. Do effort, do effort, right? Exactly, do effort. Oh, it's like giving all diligence, meaning to to concentrate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you know we do this when we become a a a, a babe. We're because we we, we don't want to stay a babe. Mm -hmm. You know we don't want to stay stagnant. Right. You right. know so we have to give diligence. We can't grow without the <laughs> diligence, right? Oh, we can't grow without God. effort. Hallelujah. Amen. And then Peter said, add to your faith virtue. Yes, Lord. Add to your faith virtue. Mm. Amen. And, and, and your your faith, when you become a, a Christian, you know, you, you have faith, but you're gonna you're gonna add virtue. Faith. Virtue. It says your add to your faith virtue. And to virtue knowledge. Okay, so virtue in this sense to me means like to stand up, mm -hmm. to be 
courageous. Mm -hmm. Add to your faith courage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I right, mean? Right, right. You know right, what I mean? Right. So now right. that now that you're 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 um now now that you're putting forth an effort, mm -hmm. be courageous. My God. Be encouraged. My God. And then from there, knowledge, meaning get everything that you can about your faith, hmm. about Christ. Mm. So you're growing, you know, as as you're moving through this, and 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 you you may be at a point where you're just gaining knowledge. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You you didn't got courageous enough to say, "Hey, I'm pushing through, <laughs> and now I'm gonna study the word." You know, and and so then in knowledge, it said, and to knowledge temperance. So as you gain the knowledge, you're also getting self-control. Oh my God. You're learning, mm -hmm. you're learning to have self-control. Yes. Be able yes. to control, you know, what goes on in your world, mm -hmm. not being, not acting, you know, just overreacting or just blurting out stuff that you shouldn't, <laughs> but just having self-control. Mm -hmm. And to temperance. Patience. Patience. <laughs> patience. Hallelujah. Patience. Because we got to have patience when we go through trials. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We have to have patience when we go through tribulations. Oh my God. Because if we don't, we'll fold. Yes, we will. And then we'll fold and we find ourselves stuck right there. Jesus. Some of us are right there where we just need to learn patience. Yes, we do. I have been there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am there in certain areas of my life. And then right. it said to patience, you grow to be like God. God godliness you take on the nature of god mm -hmm. so you see you know from a babe you don't start off being godly right, right you don't right, right. so you don't get yeah grace. so we can't get mm -hmm. mad when a new babe is acting the way that they're acting right they're right. acting their age yes, that's right <laughs> right that's they right. may be adults but they still are glory can be a babe Hallelujah. you know and then it says to patience godliness and to godliness brotherly kindness yes. because the word tells us that you will know us by, by love. our love one toward another my god so when once you can become godly mm -hmm. you can show love yes you can to your brothers i'm not saying people <laughs> of the world i'm talking about people that are inside, inside the, the kingdom yes, yes 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 kingdom folk kingdom people <laughs> and so as we grow these things are added mm -hmm. This is these. This is what we began to look like, and then it says to brotherly kind. And, and then, okay, and to godly godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. charity. Now, what is charity? Love. Charity is love. Mm. Charity is and love goes beyond. Yes. Just the kingdom. Beyond the call. Love covers all. It covers everything. <laughs> it covers the sinner. People mm -hmm. that you don't know, you have a desire. If you don't have a desire to go outside the walls and to tell somebody about Jesus, it's it's a it's a growing, it's something that that is missing. You know, because when you grow in him, you're gonna be like him and you're gonna desire, you know, to to love yes, everybody. Lord. God so loved the world yes, Lord. that he gave. His only, only begotten best. son. He gave of himself. The very best. Amen. The very best. He Hallelujah. didn't give. He didn't give his worst. <laughs> he didn't give something he could spare. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But when we look like this, we look like God. He's and and, and Peter son. wanted us to know that we should grow in grace and in, in grace. peace mm. through the knowledge. Through the knowledge. Amen. 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 That's what I saw in that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory unto God. Second Peter 1, verses 8 and 9. Yeah. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. But he that lacketh these things is blind mm -hmm. and cannot see afar off and hath forgotten that he was purged from, from his, his old sins, sins. Wow. my god so, so because of these things that peter just outlined mm -hmm. and showed us how we we grow in grace 
It says, for these things be in you. And abound. And abound. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. And they make you that ye shall neither be barren. Now, to be barren is to not be, is to be, to not be fruitful. Right, it's to right. be stagnant. Right, right. So if we're not growing, we're, we become stagnant. Mm, mm. Amen. Amen. For if these things be you and abound, now I like how you said abound, mm -hmm. because the word abound means that it's going to always come back. That's it's right. like it's like the rebound. Amen. It's going to bounce back. It's going That's to come right. unto you. Amen. That's right. Now there's a difference mm -hmm. in barren and unfruitfulness. That's right. There's a difference. There is. Now I'm taking this from my wife's gardening experience, so she really <laughs> understands that. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can have things out there on the vine, mm -hmm. such as a cucumber or whatever it is, mm -hmm. right? But the cucumber has not been fertilized. Right. So it's sitting there, it exists, but it's barren. Right. And because it's barren, it won't produce a fruit until it gets fertilized, get, right? Get get pollinated. Get pop well, uh -huh. you know, get pollinated, right? Uh -huh. So so therefore, being barren and being unfruitful are not exactly the same thing. No, it's not. You know, you can be barren, mm -hmm. amen, mm -hmm. barren and unfruitful Fruitful. at the same time amen right. but but being in christ mm -hmm. and because we're in christ mm -hmm. it abounds inside of our spirit mm -hmm. that we have this godly connection with christ right. with christ amen mm -hmm. and when we know that we know that we know oh. that we know christ mm -hmm. amen That's right. that he's our lord jesus yes. christ when we yes. know we know then we are not barren nor no. are we unfruitful exactly amen, amen. we bear Mm -hmm. fruit right hallelujah right. Right. but he that lacketh these things is blind right and cannot see afar off and has forgotten that he was purged from his old ways so in essence the apostle was talking about those who don't have these things they haven't grown they, those things like the virtue and the knowledge yes. and they haven't yeah, grown all that they have not grown mm -hmm. and so if you stay like that for a period of time right you're gonna forget that you even say <laughs> amen right amen you're gonna forget it amen. says but he that lacketh these things is blind my their God, eyes are God. closed mm. they cannot mm. see and it, it, look, cannot see Can afar see? off, and not afar off, my God. and have forgotten that mm. he was purged from his old sin, then forgot that he was saved. Jesus, I saw so it. that happens when people yeah. question their salvation. They're it like, does. I don't know if I'm saved it or not. Does. But if you stay in the Word and you be courageous, mm -hmm. you get that knowledge, and you begin to apply that knowledge and grow. My God. It's, it's, it's so important. And Peter wanted us to know, don't be stale. Hmm. Don't be stagnant. Mm. So, know who you are. So, uh, what know I'm that hearing, you're saved. What I'm hearing in my spirit, mm -hmm. because I know that this is a phenomenon in this generation, it seems, right. you know, the more you miss church, the easier it is to miss, miss church. church. The mm -hmm. easier it is. And it seems to just grow exponentially generationally mm -hmm. amen right. amen so so those who miss church and have no conscience about missing the fellowship that god has called us to mm -hmm. amen it's easy for them to become blind exactly amen and when you become blind you, you can't see a far off. off and seeing a far off is kind of akin to uh having the ability to be able to prophesy That's and right. to foresee mm -hmm. and to have even a word of wisdom a word of knowledge right mm -hmm. amen uh and had forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Mm -hmm. And when you forget you purged from your old sins, it's like the enemy reminding you that you are a sinner. sinner. He don't say anything about mm -hmm. saved by grace. Mm -hmm. He said, you are a sinner. He don't, yeah, <laughs> he'll take that out of your mind. My God, my <laughs> and God. And you know what? It's, it's, it's something because the church is full of people that are stale. My God. Yes, the church you. is full of people that are not growing. Mm. The, but they will come to church on Sunday. Oh, yeah, they'll come. And they will come to church and on call, Wednesday. Call themselves punching the ticket. But, but any other day, exactly. Mm -hmm. They won't study the word. You yeah. know, they won't share the word. You know, and you, in order for you to grow, you have to have the knowledge. Amen. And Peter is pushing. Get that knowledge. Have that knowledge. Mm. Amen. Oh, my God. It's like... What you don't eat won't get inside you. That's right. So what you don't study, you won't, won't get inside, inside you, and you won't adhere to what you don't study. Amen. 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 Second Peter chapter one verses ten and eleven. Mm -hmm. First lady, 
Wherefore, the, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly unto the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It said, wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to your calling and election. That means be sure of your salvation. Yes. Be yes. sure of your calling. Be sure of who you are mm. in him. Because if you're not sure, <laughs> the enemy will remind you you're not. <laughs> he will. He will remind you you're not. Amen. Yes, Amen. he will plant his seeds yes, 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 <laughs> of yes. corruption in your minds and yes. in your thoughts. And we've been free of those things. So put in the work. Yes. Put in the work. Put in the work. You know, growing in grace, putting right. in, in the, the work, work to make your calling. Mm -hmm. Your calling has to be just it. It's right. your life's calling. It's right. got to be that to make your mm -hmm. calling mm -hmm. and your election sure. Right. See, many are called, but few, few are chosen. Are There's a reason that is so. Amen. Right. Exactly. Amen. See, the called are the ones who are chosen are the ones who follow the elective path that God has given them. Mm -hmm. Amen. And it was Paul that Paul. said, work out your, your salvation. With fear, with fear and trembling. And trembling. Amen. Amen. Know for a fact yes. who you are. In other words, you got to reverence your grace, the grace that God's given. You got to reverence who you are. You got That's to right. got value yourself in Christ, not value yourself in self. That's right. Or value yourself in other people. Amen. Value yourself in, in Christ. Christ. Amen. And, and if you do these things, it says here, you shall never fall. You shall never fall. Hallelujah. That's a promise. Hallelujah. You can write that down in your journal as a promise from God. Hallelujah. Amen. We should be mindful of the promises of God. And this is one of them. For if ye do these things, ye shall, ye shall never, never fall. fall. Hallelujah. Lord, I'm doing these things. Amen. And I know I'm not going to fail. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Amen. Verse 11. So, uh, for so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. For so an entrance. Mm -hmm. This is this is talking about the glories, your entrance into kingdom works Work. and kingdom blessings. Amen. Shall be ministered unto you abundantly. 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 Mm, I'm hearing abound abundantly. Mm -hmm. Abundantly. Uh -huh. Into the everlasting kingdom, kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, firstly, I'm gonna tell you this. There are plenty of people who don't realize that they're living a good life here in the earth. Plenty of people who, all they, all they say is, they say, I can't wait to get to glory to live my good life. What? What, where, when? My God. Life, life, now, right? now you may not live, you may not live uh, the very best life because there's nothing in this earth to com compare to the things that we'll see in heaven, mm -hmm. amen? Or to compare to the things of the restored earth once the Lord restores the earth. There's nothing. Mm -hmm. that can compare to the joy of those things right. and the beauty of those things. There's nothing that can compare to those things, right. right? Amen. But you can live a blessed life on this side of the joy. Mm -hmm. My Glory. God. My, uh, amen. Yeah. I mean, why else would it say the joy of the Lord is my strength? strength. When I please God, it makes my enemies become even my friends. My biggest supporters become the ones who are my enemies are my biggest supporters. Mm -hmm. Still don't like you, <laughs> but for some reason they are compelled to be a blessing, blessing. unto you. Hallelujah, glory unto God. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. I tell you, this this has been awesome. Yes, it has been mm -hmm. it's an awesome series. Amen. Amen. So, Second Peter chapter one verses twelve and thirteen. Hallelujah. Reading twelve says, "Wherefore I will not be negligent to put you always." in remembrance of these things, that ye know them and be established in the present truth. Yea, I think it meet as long as I am in this tabernacle to stir you up by putting you in remembrance. Amen. Jesus, that is yeah. so powerful. So I mentioned My in, God. So I mentioned, um, I mentioned in um, verse number, no, verse one and two, mm -hmm. you know, about, you know, Peter, 
this, these are his last words, yes. you know, and he wants to make sure, you know, give us some assurance and tell us some things that were in his heart. Yes. This is what I'm talking about right here. He said, wherefore, I will not be negligent. He's not going to be negligent to put to put you always in remembrance of these things. He wants to make sure that we remember these things, though ye know them and be established was, in the present truth. He God. wants us to know. <laughs> you no, know, he no. wants us to know. Uh -huh. He wants us to know. And then it says, Jay, I think it meet as long as I am in this tabernacle to stir you by putting you in remembrance. Now, the tabernacle that he's referring to is his body. Yes. Because yes. he knows that yes. he, he's going to depart He's, he knows that he's not going to see the rapture, <laughs> okay. right? Glory. Peter knows God. because yes. it was prophesied to him when, mm -hmm. what book? It was prophesied that he would be an old man and people would have to help him. This is doing the uh, great confession right after that. Uh -huh. Jesus said that uh, Peter, he said, somebody will not see death. Mm -hmm. We don't know who that is exactly. And, mm -hmm. and, and maybe, I don't know who it is exactly. But it also says that uh, uh, would die, I right? would die mm -hmm. and said that John would live a long time, said mm -hmm. that Peter would Peter would be an old man mm -hmm. and Peter would have to be and that his by, hands yeah. would be stretched. Yeah. 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 His head would be bound. It's a scripture. It's, it's a scripture. I, I don't have it. It's definitely a scripture. Amen. Um, but Amen. I can find it if you'd Amen. like to, to know it. I can look it up for you. But Peter Peter knew that he would not see the rapture. Right, exactly. But he wanted to make sure that as long as he was in his in his body, in which his is right mind. Which, and in his bright mind, in uh -huh. his in the tabernacle, uh -huh. he said, as long as I am in this tabernacle, uh -huh. he wants to stir you up by putting you in remembrance of these things that he just spoke of. My God. My God. Amen. Wherefore, I will not be negligent to put you always. He said, I will not neglect my duty. I'll be diligent in my duty to always put you in remembrance of these things that you know them and be established in the present truth. That's right. My God. Present. It's talking about, present. it's like now right faith. Right now. Right now. Now faith. You have to know you're saved right now. Exactly. Don't be saying, I know I'll be saved in the future. Mm -hmm. Know you're saved right now. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he said in 13, he said, yeah, I think it's me. In other words, it's real important. Yes. It's real important. As long as I'm in this tabernacle, you know, the word tabernacle is a tent. Right. And a tent is something that's temporary. temporary. It's temporary. So Peter's talking about, I'm in this temporary situation of this body. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he picked up a few words of the apostle Paul. He said, to stir you Ooh, up. Uh, by putting you in remembrance. That's what Paul said to Timothy. Mm -hmm. I'm to staring stir you up. up. The gifts. I'm, staring, I'm putting you in remembrance. Of, right. Oh my God. Oh, if we only could remember. Sometimes we got to stop first lady and go back to that place where we first met our Lord. Yes. And when we go back to that place where we first met our Lord at, amen, we get into remembrance of what God has done for us. Mm -hmm. And we think about what, what it is that we were brought out of. Oh, I need to stop because I'm ready to preach on amen. this. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So 1 Peter. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. First, uh, Second Peter, rather. <laughs> We got to get Peter, out of first Peter. We're in chapter second one. Peter, <laughs> second Peter chapter one, verse 14 and 15. Okay. And we're going to wrap it. We're going to wrap it up. Amen. Okay. Amen. Verse 14 reads, knowing that shortly I must put off this, my tabernacle, mm -hmm. even as our Lord Jesus Christ had showed me. Mm -hmm. So he knew. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Moreover, I will endeavor that ye may be able after my decease to have these things always in remembrance. Amen. Good Lord. So Amen. Peter was saying, you know, he's not going to be with us. He's right. not going to be with them long. My he God. He's not going to be with them long. Mm -hmm. He said, because surely he I'm going to put, put it off. off. Yes. He's going to put off this tabernacle. And he gave, he gave you a time frame. It won't be a long time. Mm -hmm. Shortly. Shortly. Shortly, I will put off. I must, not I just will, mm -hmm. but I must put off this because Jesus has told me. Right. It's referring back to scripture you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. He knew that he would die, an Jesus, old man, yeah. but he would and die I, a certain way. I guess way. I spoke too yeah. soon on that scripture. Yeah, <laughs> amen. Oh, that's okay, amen. He knew. He amen. knew this stuff, amen. In verse 15, moreover, I will endeavor that ye may be able, that ye may be able, able. 
after my decease, after I'm gone, mm -hmm. that you may be able, after I am gone, glory unto God, mm -hmm. hallelujah, to have, to have these, these things, things in always in remembrance. remembrance. Always. Hallelujah, yes. hallelujah. So not only was Peter, you know, this is how we have to think generationally. You know, the Bible says that a man should make enough wealth for generations, right? Yes. So we have to think generationally. This is what Peter was saying. Generationally, you know, Abraham did generational things. Abraham did not see the promise. That's right. That's but he right. did things in order to ensure the sure promise, the would, promise come. would come. Right. Amen. And Peter, right in these books, yes. ensured that we would get ha, the Jesus. message come even on. now in our day and for mm. days to come. My Amen. God. Leave my sermon alone. Woo! Jesus. Jesus. I'm not going to get into your sermon. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. But ICC, I hope that you are enjoying this lesson. Um, the Apostle Peter, he gave some powerful, ha, Jesus. powerful mm. instructions here. Mm -hmm. You know, where as we are to know what we know and be sure of our salvation. Sure enough, whereas the enemy cannot come in and steal it My from God. us. My and God. that's what I pray for, um, for Jesus. you and for me and for our children and our families. You know, we need to just get out there and share the word. We need yes, to share the word. Yes, we do. This, the, These are the days and these are the hours. We must. We've got to get out share there this word. and share this word. My God. So... Share this, Jesus. share this particular message Hallelujah. to your friends. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. First lady, that's, that's some powerful things that the apostle Peter talked about here. Mm -hmm. I tell you, it just blesses my soul to even consider mm -hmm. that the Lord encouraged and inspired him to write these things that are so applicable in today's world, mm -hmm. in this church age, the final age that we're in right now. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I'm praying that you are enjoying these series by First Lady and I. Amen. That, that, that these things encourage you to live holy. holy. Live holy. Yes. Live, live holy. holy. There, there's no do-overs. Mm -mm. Don't let anyone tell you any difference. It's one life. There's one life, and there's one way to, to reach glory. It's through Jesus Christ, Christ. through Christ Jesus, our Lord. No Hallelujah. Him. Amen. Love him. God bless you. Amen. My God. You know, First Lady, the Lord has been pressing on my heart yes. to always continue to talk about the rapture. Mm -hmm. Until you tell me any different, I will always do this. Go Amen. Go ahead and share. Amen. Beloved. If you are watching this by the grace of God and the rapture has occurred, I'm praying that right now, right where you are, that you repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You know the rapture has occurred because everything that the Lord Jesus said would happen has happened. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, all these people are no longer around and they're trying to give you some scientific explanation for it, but it's not scientific, it's spiritual. It's spiritual. God has done what God promised that he would do. And you happen to have been one who, and everyone will hear, heard the, ver the great sound of the trumpet of Christ. Hallelujah. Be heard throughout the world. Amen. Mm -hmm. Be seen. Christ will be seen throughout the world. And they're trying to explain to you all these things, but you know what has happened. Mm -hmm. It is not too late. You can repent of your sins right where you are, Jesus. Thank and you God. can accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You can renounce this world. Yes, and I God. promise you, now, it won't get easy for you because the enemy is going to be on people. He's going to be killing people for not accepting his mark in the system that he has in place. Mm -hmm. He will be killing people if you don't accept this. Mm -hmm. And you may be one that's called to, to accept it. And you say, no, I'm not going to accept it. Yeah, you're going to die. But that's just a physical death. Amen. Because the once you close your eyes on this side, you open up on the other side in the presence of God Almighty. He'll mm -hmm. give you a white robe and tell you, wait, mm -hmm. his time is coming. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Beloved, I'm praying if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, get to know him. Mm -hmm. I'm praying also for those who, who are walking in a way that is contrary to who they should be in Christ. Mm -hmm. It's so important to live holy and so important to live righteous. You're going to be held accountable for not doing that. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And beloved, also, finally, if the Lord <laughs> so blessed your heart and you want to be a blessing to Interceding Christian Center, you can go to the, the Apple or the Android store and you can go and download Giblify. 
and you'll be able to be a blessing to this ministry. Go on to Giveify once you've downloaded from one of those stores. Mm -hmm. Find a picture of my beautiful wife. Amen. She beautiful. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And be a blessing to us in that way. Or alternatively, you can be a blessing to us by going to a cash app, doing your cash app, which is dollar sign interceding CC, dollar sign interceding CC, and be a blessing to us in that way as well. Amen. And I'm thanking God for those who have been such a blessing to us over the years, just faithfully giving and blessing the ministry you've allowed us to continue. Amen. amen. In the ministry that God has placed in my heart and on yes. our hearts. Amen. amen. And I'm thanking God for you. And I'm praying that God's choice blessings overtake you yeah. in this day and in this age. Yes. Let me pray us out. Hallelujah. Yeah. Father, we bless you. We glorify you. We honor you for your mercy and grace, which is endured to all generations. We ask, Lord God, you would bless this time, oh God, that you have given us, oh God, to, to share your word and that the word does not fall on fallow ground, that the ground is well prepared to receive your word, oh God. Lord God, we bless you and glorify you in advance for all things. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling. And to present us fathers for the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and evermore. Lift both hands for the blessings. Hallelujah. 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 May the Lord God bless you and keep you. May the Lord God lift his face upon you and be gracious unto you. Hallelujah. May the Lord God lift his countenance upon you and give you peace that surpasses all understanding. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name, amen. amen, amen. Love you with the love of Christ. Continue to stay tuned as we continue on in our series, amen. amen. Faith under fire, hallelujah. Peter's final exhortation, part two, amen. Amen. Love you, God amen. bless. <laughs>